on y'all man we are back at it again it's your boy bezo with wheels forecast for today in oklahoma city it's 45 degrees a uh, little bit of humidity no i'm just playing it's really cold out here man let's dive right into it y'all seen what the topic was going to my shop i'm gonna pretty much be giving y'all the rundown on uh pretty much all the vehicles that i started off and had at a young age i'm talking about 19 probably even 18 i can't even remember off top but uh real quick i'm not making this video because i need views or i'm desperate or anything like that uh or i'm bored or nothing. i got projects lined up man as a matter of fact let me show y'all for the ones who do not know and have not subscribed and don't really watch my videos i am bezo with wheels i paint anything and everything y'all make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe right now we're coming with some content these actually came in um uh, chrome uh he wanted them gold so these are already gold now um i didn't want to record that process just because i knew it was gonna be a quick process that's the cans of the all real gold uh, they got the instagram i believe it's called all real gold so y'all go check them out i think it's like 65 65 dollars a can so it came out really really good uh paint anything everything i paint your refrigerator i paint your 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 appliances all of that your cars your bikes your trucks your guns speaking of man i had it i ain't gonna lie i'm not i'm not rich i'm none of that no sir i had this bad boy on layaway forever like i think i maxed out the days but oh my god if y'all can come up with an idea on what color this should be i'm not painting it anytime soon just just drop your ideas and let me know what color it should be uh this is my girl i always keep a gun out here with me uh in my shop but yeah man I, i'm so i ain't even shot this bad boy yet so i'm excited other than that man let's get right to it i'm talking if y'all wondering why i'm at i am in my shop this is my little paint booth i got all my paint supplies over there my bondos and all that good stuff and my tools and tune-up chains so yeah that's where i'm at so y'all get comfortable Man, so what I'm about to say, y'all probably already heard it about a thousand times, but just because y'all heard it don't mean y'all comprehend it, y'all understand it, y'all absorbing it. Credit history is everything. You gotta have credit, you gotta have credit history. That's very important. Um, I'm gonna just give y'all my timeline, man. My 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 dream vehicle at the time when I was younger, man, was a 99 Suburban. Don't laugh. I don't know why my dream vehicle was a 1999 Suburban, a big body. I just wanted to be big. I was little, I weighed like a hundred and a piece of paper. I, so I was little. I wanted to be in something big. I wanted to feel like a boss. I wanted to be like, yeah, it is me. This swinging in a big body. Yeah, that was just me. Um, I got that from a pawn shop. I had it on layaway forever, man. I was making like $8 an hour. That vehicle was like $2,500. So had it on layaway. I was busting my ass, mopping the shit out of the floors. I was, I was on my grind to get my Suburban. When I got it, it had two big ass dents and a cracked windshield and the leather was torn. It was beat up. So when I got it, I was still in school. I think I was a senior. Everybody was like, why you buy a school bus? Why did you buy this big ass family? You got kids? We don't know. You know what I'm saying? Especially my mom, my dad, they're like, but anyways, man, I wanted it. I saw the vision behind it. I saw that. So I bought it, put the sixes on it, the foes on it, the lights, the beats, screens. I mean, I had it, I had it where I wanted it to be, but they say you a product of your environment. Everybody around me started getting motorcycles. So it all started from when I got this motorcycle. So I got the, uh, uh, everybody around me was getting motorcycles. They started motivating me. So I'm like, damn, like I want a motorcycle. So I went to, I think I was trying, I went to the bank or I went to a motorcycle lot, found one I liked and I was like, yeah, I'm trying to get this bike. They was like, yeah, okay, cool. You got any credit? I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> No, I don't, I don't know. Like, they was like, all right, they ran my credit. They was like, yep, nope, you can't get it. You need a cosign. I'm like, damn, so I'm gonna get this cosign. What is a cosign? So I'm looking up cosign. I'm trying to get uh, just real quick. Cosign is basically like, like if you want a loan and a bank tell you, you need a cosign and my credit is good, you could come to me and I could get you the cosign to get you the bike. But if you miss them damn payments and fuck up, that's on me. I, my credit is going to be jeopardized. You know, my credit is going to be effed up because of what you did. So I think at a certain amount of time, say I get you the bike. And after about two, three months after the loan, it'll, I'll fall off. Basically, you'll be good. Like, so if you fuck up, it's on you. But anyway, so my dad ended up giving me the cosign because my mama, my mama wouldn't. <laughs> she was like, you can get out of my house before you get that bike. And I was like, I bet. And I think like a few months later, I moved out and, and I got my bike because my dad co-signed for me. So my dad co-signed for me and that's where it all started. That's when the gates, that's when a pimp came out. And I was like, um, but 
So I got the bike. I don't even care about what it did to my credit. I don't care about nothing. The only thing I really care about is me riding my bike and my ass, because my dad was like, if you don't pay, then that's your ass. It's fair ones. Like, so I was making sure my payment was on time strictly because I didn't want my ass to get whipped. Like that was my main concern and I was having fun and I just didn't want no payment. So I was trying to hurry up and pay it off. I paid it off about a year or however long it took. And um, I didn't care. I mean, I was just like, okay, I got my bike, it's paid off, I'm cool. I didn't realize what it did to my credit. I didn't pay attention to none of that. I'm rocking the bike and then everybody's losing their interest in bikes. So I'm now I got my bike. So I'm like, damn, like, I got my truck, I got my Suburban, okay, cool. And I got my bike, now what? Like, everybody around me like, okay, man, we into sports cars. We getting SS's and Camaros and Speed Demons and stuff like that. And I'm the only one with the bike and I got my big body. I'm cool, I'm grateful, but at the time, I'm like, damn, like, I'm trying to get an SS or something. Let me get an SRT. So I'm rocking by myself as long as I could. And then I'm like, okay. So I've been, I drive past this, this car lot every day at work and I see this charger. I'm like, I gotta go check it out. So I pulled in the lot, go check it out. I'm looking at it, drive the, the lot people come out. Hey, you, you like it? And I'm like, yeah, it's cool. And then it was like, you interested? One, I'm like, I can't even get it. I can't afford it, none of that. So I, mind you, I went to this car lot three different times just to look at it. And the third time I was like, all right, man, what I gotta do to get in it? And they explained, they was like, okay, uh, you got any credit? I was like, nah, I don't even know what that is. Like, and they was like, all right, they pretty much just ran my credit score. And they was like, bro, if you if you could come up with $3,500, this yours. And I was like, huh? But I'm thinking like, nah, where am I gonna get $3,500 from? And I was like, they were like, man, we take trades. And I was like, trades? So I looked at the Suburban and I was like, yeah, man, this mug on sixes, like got the lights, got the beast here. Let me show you this, let me show you that. And they were like, nah, I get it, it is really nice. But they were like, it, they was like, Miss Betsy's not gonna come here and want a 99 Suburban on sixes. So I understood, I was like, damn. They were like, if you can sell this truck and come back with the cash, it's yours. So I'm like, blown away. I'm like, all right, I feel like I'm in the science lab, I'm like, cool. So I, long story short, I sold the truck. I sold the truck for like $4,500. And did somebody drop me off at the lot? I think, uh, I think like $4,500, I think somebody dropped me off at the lot. <laughs> I said, all right, see you later, buddy. <laughs> uh, and I went in there with cash, $4,500, and gave him $35, and I drove off in my new SRT. So, keep up with me. That that cosign, that little cosign, got me into a $16,000 car. And I and I was super, I did, I promise you, I did a damn donut off the lot. I'm 20. I'm 20, like I'm cheesing ear to ear. I can't believe it. It feel like I got a Ferrari in the neighborhood. Like, cause where I'm from, like it, 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 it's kind of rough out there. So if you in, I'm 20, yo, like I'm 20. In an SRT, like I'm having fun in my neighborhood. Like, and I rock it for a cool period of time. And then all the old heads like, man, you throw some dub ballers on that, man. Oh boy, you put some balls. So I'm looking at rims and brands and stuff like that. So I'm into all of that now. Like I'm in the car game now. Like, yeah, yeah, it was big boys and big OGs looking at me like, yeah. Anyway, so long story short, I drove to Texas. I was not trying to, I knew I couldn't get these wheels. I just went down there. To, everybody was talking about Omar's wheels. They were like, man, Omar wheels, man. You, you just gotta go look, bro, just go look. I'm like, all right, bet. So we drive three hours from Oklahoma City. I get there. Uh, it's big time is there. I'm like, ooh, four Gs? What's the F? Ooh, all right, all right, cool. Like, so you know what I'm saying? And they were like, you see some wheels that you like. I was like, I ain't gonna lie, man. I like these dope ballers. Everybody keep telling me to get them. They were like, but dope ballers on the SRT? <sighs> yeah, you you a big time and you do that. Long story short, they were like, man, hop on the computer. Let's just, let's just, let's see. Because they were asking me about credit. I was like, I think credit got me this car. Like, I did not, I'm young. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm young and dumb. So I sit down at the computer. Long story short, they was like, man, if you got a couple hundred dollars, you could walk, you could drive out these right now. I was like, nah, you, you, you lying. Boy, I'm cheap, cheesing, bro, cheesing ear to ear. So they was like, yeah, like if you can give us a couple hundred dollars, these are yours. And guess what I had on me? I'm in Texas, what you mean? I wasn't about to cop one, I wasn't about to miss on no deal like that. I put every last dollar on this, ah, peel me out. I drove back with my 
my dub. I was broke as hell, but I was clean in a bit. I clean though. I was clean. That's all that matter. Young and dumb though. Like I'm telling you, I was 20. I was, I, yeah, I was 20. I was 20. Cause I had my green and black bike matching my green and black car. So, and I, I'm telling you, I was, I felt unstoppable. I felt like life Corey. Like, give me a game. Give me, give me a second. Like, anyway, so I was, I, was, I needed that time to shine. Like, anyway, so I felt good. So I rocked it. I rocked it for a while. And then my daughter was born. I sold my bike. I ended up starting at Tinker Air Force Base. So I'm really dope coming in now. Like I'm true religion jeans. 350, that ain't shit. Give me them. Uh, Gucci belt, give me them. I'm having fun. I'm, I'm blowing my money. Like, I'm I'm just having fun, though, as a kid. My, my daughter born. I sold the bike. I'm up. Like, ah. I, you know what I'm saying? So, but this is just me being real. I'm speaking to y'all for real. Like, so I had just the SRT. And then we got some apartments. We got into our apartments. And then uh, everybody was talking about the 392. I'm like, damn. Like, trying to keep up with everybody i'm like nah if i do this i'm doing it for myself like so i'm i'm, I'm hearing everybody talk about the 392 these mugs is bad these 475 horses some shit like that so i'm like 65 horses and then um i had emailed this lady because i seen it a lot and i was like i'm just curious i don't want to get in it i don't want nothing i don't want to eat i don't even want to buy it nothing i just want to look at it. i just want to see she said yeah y'all come up here she said yeah come up here and look at it i looked at it i went as soon as I went to the lot, she, kid you not, soup, tossed me the keys. It sounded like a movie. It sounded like some bullshit, but I really caught the keys and everything. Like, she threw them, and I was like, she was like, yeah, go ahead. Because she saw me pull up in the SRT. So she like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm get this new. Anyway, so I went around the block. I swear to God, I went to a church. Damn, that sound bad. I swear to God, and I said I went to the church. I'm sorry, Jesus. I went to a church and I did the biggest donut just to see, cause that's how I am. I gotta see. I, but by then I knew how to drive. Like I'm talking about, like I can sit at a stoplight, do about three three donuts and then take off. Or I can drift the whole like not to boost or brag or anything like that. But I I just know how. So I just did all. I did what I could to the car and I was like, yeah, I want it. Went back to the lot and I was like, yeah, but the thing is, I was like, I don't know if I can even afford it with the with the bam and. And man, she sat me down, and I kid you not, I promise you, on everything I love, I drove off in a 392. 392, look at the seats, look at the seats, look at the dads, but look at the seats, look at the dads, but look at the seats. I'm in a 392, what you mean? I'm in a. Uh. Now let's talk about the payments. The payments for my green, the, the first, the first SRT, the 6.1 liter, I was paying three, I think I was paying 328. 328, my insurance at my age, I think I was paying a lot. I was paying like, I think it started off at 250, but I kept getting tickets. I already had tickets, so don't let that discourage you. My my insurance was like 250, 275 because I had I got like nine tickets. I got a lot of tickets. I had I had a bike. Let me let me be a kid. I had a bike. I was getting into a lot of trouble. So my uh, so insurance was two about 275. It did go up to 350. My insurance did go up to 350 on that 6.1 liter. That was an 06. Um, and my payments was 328. And then um, when I got my new charger, my payments was uh, I think I was upside down by a very little, like worth it. Like it they was like, nah, you I know people right now paying six, seven hundred dollars for a 392. And I had a 2012. It was it was loaded, like it was fully, fully loaded. Um, I, my insurance for that was, I think it was like three hundred, and then my my car payment was five. It was like five eighteen, and then I think she said I, I forgot. It ended up going down right before I sold it. It ended up going down, so I was paying like four ninety something. But yeah, I know it's a lot. It's a lot. But I'm but I'm young, and you know I'm I'm young. You so so I got a really good deal, and yeah, so. I drove off with my 392, man. I was super lit, chilling. I was, I'm telling you, like, I felt so good. I felt unstoppable. So I had this 
plain Jane 392. And then I put the stars in the ceiling. I blacked out the tail lights, putting the letters on the tires. Then my homie was like, hey man, my big dog got a Hellcat on 4Gs and he don't really want the 4Gs. So I bought the 4G Yalos for $3,500. And he was trying to get, get me buying for $4,000. But I was like, please, let me be the only young cat I had to... I want to know who else was on 4G autos in a 392 in Oklahoma City on my age. I was 20, I was 22. I was 22. I was 22 when I had my 392 on 4G autos and the stars in the ceiling and send this to whoever got they, okay, when they did their stars, a lot of people, I think YouTubing on a budget might have motive. I think I seen him with the first one with the stars in the ceiling, but I did my slot. I did mine. I, I didn't pay nobody to go do mine. He might have did his. I don't know who did this, but did theirs. But mine, I did the slot, like the sunroof slot. I did that. Like, I didn't see nobody else do that. They were saying it was complicated. It took me about 17 hours to do that. Man, I'm a car guy. I love cars and stuff like that. I don't knock anybody to go send their stuff out to go get it done because of time. Like, a lot of people don't have that time, but I had the time. I, I, I love cars. I loved it all. But credit, credit got me there, man. Credit got me. A lot of places. A lot of people used to be like, man, net yo, let me get a dollar, hey, let me get some, like, let me borrow something. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people thought I was just like just rich asshole or rich kid. Like, no, no, credit is everything. I just utilize I I abused my credit in a way, but at the same time, uh I did I let the I let the charger go, the 392. I sold my I sold my 4G autos before I moved to Atlanta. I sold the car and the wheels because I didn't want that type of attention when I got down there. I knew how I was don't nobody know yourself better than you. I knew I was going to get down there and act up. The times that I was down there, I was acting up. I was downtown in Atlanta doing donuts and acting an ass just with everybody else. And I told myself I wasn't going to do it. I told myself, I told my mother. Oh, man, I'm so sorry, mom. I told my mom when I got my, she said, the reason you got to get out of my house is because I don't know how you're going to act on that bike. I said, mom, I promise I'm not even about to be doing that. Why, why would I risk my life on a bike? Why would I do that? I got a girlfriend. I got family. I love y'all. I'm out there at about a month later. I'm on a hundred and I'm on a highway doing about 140, dragging my freaking finger on semis, running in and out of traffic. Got my fiance on the back. I'm gassing it. Um, she knew exactly what to do. She and I'll be yeah. I'm telling. I hit about 170 on my on my Jixxer 750. Had a power commander on there and everything. So like. I, I know myself. I know myself. That's why I let the car go. I let the rims go. And then I when I when I'm in the mode, I, when I'm in the mood or mode or whatever you want to call it, like I get to feel of myself. I don't. I never. I never flex or stunt on anybody. I get excited. I get. I'll be like, Ooh, hey, what up, me dog? Like I, I got a big heart too. Like I got a really really big heart. Don't I don't don't mistake that for weakness. Like. I got a big heart. Like if I feel like you, you know what I'm saying, you you really genuinely f with me, then I and I'm gonna bless you. I'm gonna bless everybody in my circle. Like so. Other than that, man, credit is everything, man. Credit credit was what got me. No, the cosign is what got me the bike, and then the bike is what got me the 392. Like literally, that's that credit is everything. Don't be fooled by these people wearing hundred thousand dollar necklaces, bracelets, rings, chains, clothes, shoes. You can get anything financed. Anything finance. Why do everybody say, oh, he got a Lambo. He's rich. That doesn't mean somebody's rich. It just means their financial situation is a little bit more advanced than yours is. Like, that's that's all it is. Like, and I, because I was the same way. Like, when I saw, when I saw all these cats and like Rolls Royces, I'm like, damn, it doesn't mean they dropped $500,000. Like the Lamborghini years or whatever. They didn't drop five. I won't say all the time, but it doesn't mean they dropped a hundred thousand dollars on this car. Like it doesn't mean that they can be just like I was. Like I was a baller on the biggest budget. I made that shit look good. I, I was picture a kid coming out of hopping out, hopping out of a 392 true religion. I had third, I had, I had damn near $400 jeans on $400 jeans on J's bezel, Gucci watch, Gucci belt, earrings, hat cocked to the side on 4G's in a 2012 392. Hopping out of downtown. Like, clean and oh, man, oh, I'm clean. Look, but anyway, like, what do you expect? Like, well, what's your thought? What's your train of thought? Like, like genuinely, like real shit. Like, 
If you see somebody like, okay, he doing it. I bet if I rob him right now, he gonna have it on him. He gonna be at least, he gonna, he gotta at least have a thousand in his pocket. I'm not about to get robbed over no two dollars and a stick of bubble gum. Like, that's one reason I slowed down because I got kids. I look at life so much differently. And that's why I don't have those things at all. It's just, it's effed up. You can't live how you want comfortably because so many people be hating. Like, but I slowed down on that and I'm trying to worry about bigger investments. I'm trying to worry about my future. I'm trying to worry about my kids' future. And I'm trying to worry, like, I'm not, my dream car is a Hellcat. Am I going to get a Hellcat? Hell yeah. My biggest concern isn't worried about my dream car right now. My biggest concern is uh, having passive income, taking off with YouTube, uh, getting a big house, owning a couple laundry mats, owning a couple car washes, you know, stuff like that. That way I can sleep and, and then wake up and be like, how much do I make today? 35,000, oh, 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 my bad. Five, oh, oh, 10,000, oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to work for the rest of my life. I don't want to work for the man the rest of my life. Um, that's That should be everybody's goal, is not to have to work the rest of life. Like, you think I want to pay cars the rest of my life? No. You think I want to make YouTube videos the rest of my life? No, I want to wake up and do whatever I want and still get that same income for the rest of my life from just doing my daily stuff that I love doing. You know what I'm saying? So I encourage y'all, credit is everything, man. If this video, I hope if you take anything from this video, um, I'm like I said, I don't want to mislead you. I don't know about anything about the credit cards, but find somebody you love or somebody that love you genuinely enough, you know what I'm saying? So just get a small little cosign, rock it for about a year, and then you'll be surprised on where that amount of credit could get you like so for sure uh please leave it in the comments i don't know everything i'm not a financial advisor i'm not none of that um uh, i'm just giving y'all from what i've experienced and what i've gone through um uh, to hopefully i can motivate you guys and to go a different route or you know what i'm saying so appreciate y'all watching y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe man we got some more projects on the way i got knocked th these are done as a matter of fact i think we got another car coming in uh, within about two days. Other than that, just chilling, chilling with the kids. Y'all have fun. Like, comment, and subscribe. We out.